Now, guys, good morning. My name is Deepak Bhatt. Let me just introduce myself before starting the session. So, talking about myself, guys, my name is Deepak Bhatt, working in this field since last eight plus years and working with Infosec Train since last eight plus years. And uh, I'm working as a senior security consultant and trainer for cyber security. And uh, I'm taking the training for various organizations, which includes your EC Council, Comptia, Cert Nexus. Uh, uh, you can say ISACA, PECB, all these organizations. So if I talk about EC Council, guys, I am the certified instructor for EC Council and I'm taking the courses like basic one, CSCU and CND. I do take the courses like CEH. I do take and say offensive courses, which includes ECSA, LPT. And I do take defensive courses that includes CHFI, that is Forensic Investigator, ECI, that is Incident Handler, CTIA, that is Cyber Threat Intelligence Analyst, EDRP, that is Disaster Recovery Professional. And uh, I also take management level courses that has been introduced by EC Council, that is CCSO, which stands for Certified Chief Information Security Officer. If I talk about CompTIA, so guys, again, I'm the Certified Instructor for CompTIA, and I'm taking the certification like A plus, N plus, that is Network plus, then Security plus, Pentest plus, CYSA plus, uh, then I do take CYSP, Cloud plus, then uh, you can say Linux plus, all these certification I do take care. Apart from that, I'm also taking the certification trainings for ISO 27001 LA, that is Lead Auditor, NLI, that is Lead Implemented. So talking about, uh, you can say the clientele guys, these are the clientels all around the world where I have taken the training and these are the technologies that I deliver. All right. So now talking about the today's agenda guys, See, today's agenda is all about CEH. That is what is the difference between CEH V10 and V11 that has been newly introduced by EC Council. Right now, today I'm going to explain you that what is the difference, all right? What is new in CH we live in, all right? What kind of changes you'll be seeing, all right? And how you're getting benefited with CHV11, all right? So, talking about the first thing, guys, the first thing is see, guys, what happened is previously what was happening is previously with EC Council, you have to register yourself with an Aspen account, all right? Now, once you are registered in an Aspen account, a voucher code was being given to you by infosec chain all right that is to download the set uh, you can see the the module all right now once you'll be downloading the modules you have to download a ptc viewer all right and you have to do what you have to download a license all right to view these modules but this time the major change what ec council has done with your cehv 11 version is you don't have to download this particular vdc viewer along with license key what you have to do now is you can access the material in web browser itself for that you will be doing work you will be downloading this bookshelf all right this is the you can say uh the source now where you'll be you will be opening your complete modules let me just show it to you this is how it looks like guys all right see this is my web browser bookshelf you have to register yourself over here and depending upon this you will have to do what you will you can view the contents all right so this is how your you can say new uh, you can say upgrade is related to your courseware all right Apart from that, you don't have to download it. All right. Uh, previously, see, previous module looks something like this. Let me just show it to you guys. Previous CH V10 modules look something like this. That is like this. All right. You can download them and to view them, you have to do what? You have to download a PTC viewer and a license key. Unless and until you'll not be downloading the PTC viewer and the license key, you'll not be able to view the content. But this time they have done work. Now they have uh, allowed you to directly view it on the web browser. All right. Second thing is, guys, you can also take notes. In this particular bookshelf over here, you have got various options. That is, this is your notes category, all right. If you want to take notes during training, let's suppose I'm teaching you and you are, you, you are, you want to take some notes. So you can just take the notes over here. You can even use flashcards, all right, for quick revision, all right. Apart from that, you can directly go table of contents, right. That is how, what, what are the things that are included in your CHV11, all those kind of things. 
All right, see. Now this is the uh, this is the thing that has been changed in your CH rule level. All right. Second thing that is included is now there will be no versioning of the CH certificate. Likewise, still now since, since CHV, we have CHV10, right? But from now onwards, there will be no versioning. There is no CHV9, there will be no CHV10. All right, there will be only one certification that is CEH. All right, that is CEH ANSI. All right, ANSI. All right, this is what they have done. Now there will be no version. Then apart from that, guys, in your CHV11, they have done work. They have increased the labs. All right, the labs have been increased. In your CEH V10, guys, what was happening is we were having total number of labs that is 140. All right, in your 20 modules, you'll be having 140 labs. But in your CHV11, they have done work. They have increased the lab from 140 to 200. Now you have 200 labs, which will be including more tools since some of the topics have been included. That's why the lab size is also increased. All right. Apart from that, guys, you will be having word. Previously, we used to perform the training on the platform that is Kali Line. All right. We used to do work. We used to use Kali Linux. But now what EC Council has done is EC Council has introduced a new operating system that is Parrot. All right. Parrot is also like Kali Linux guys, but it is more graphical. All right. Many of the students who have already attended my web, my my sessions, they might know that I use Kali Linux in my session, and I also give a brief, uh, you can say, uh, introduction about Parrot. So it's your choice, guys. Previously, it was your choice that whether you want to use Kali, whether you want to use Parrot. But this time, EC Council has done what they have introduced Parrot operating right apart from that they have wanted to also introduce windows server 2019 all right now let me just take you through the you can say the certification uh, you can say what are the major changes so the changes first is this one guys this is all your new chv11 all right so in this they have done what in this previously in clouds there was basic cloud or you can say information that is what is cloud type of cloud services type of clouds what is referential architecture what are the threats related to clouds what are attacks related to clouds how you are going to secure your clouds but this time they have done work they have introduced new terminologies like containers they have given you the information what are containers how you're going to secure the containers they have given you the information about the dockers and they have also introduced the term that is kubernetes all right, these are the three things that are included in your module that is cloud. Apart from that, I was telling you about guys Parrot operating system. So they have done what they have introduced a new operating system that is Parrot. All right. And then they have also included operational technology. All right. Previously, we have IOTs. All right. But now they have included what they have included other technologies also that is advanced technology, upcoming technology which includes your ICS, all right, interstitial control systems, CADA, BLC, all right. Apart from that, they have also included, you can say, various kind of attacks, that is side channel attack, all right, they have explained it, and they have given you the labs also for that. Apart from that, guys, in Wi-Fi hacking, previously it was only given about WPA and WPA2, that is Wi-Fi protected access and Wi-Fi protected access version 2. But in the CH11, we have done word, they have just introduced WPA3 also. As you all know, guys, WPA3 was being launched last year, all right, in 2019. And since then, it is used for, you can say, for your Wi-Fi network. Right. So this time in CHV11, they have infused WPA3 and they have also given you some scenarios that what kind of encryption is used in WPA3, what is authentication used and how you are going to crack. All right. Previously, we used to show you WPA2 cracking, all right, using various kind of tools. But this time it's WPA3. Apart from that, guys, a lot of hacking challenges have been included in CHV11 so that the people who are going to take CHV11 certification, they will be having immense amount of hands off. All right, on this particular certification on the various platforms. Apart from that, they have included various kinds of attacks and attack vectors, whether it be your malware, targeted ransomware, all right, API threats, all right. 
They have also given you the information about web shields. Then what they have included is new is malware reverse. Previously in the module that is malware threats, they have given you somewhat information about you can say uh, malware analysis that is static and dynamic, but this time they have uh, you can say extended that information and you'll be getting a lot of things that have been included in malware threats, malware reverse engineering. All right. Now let me just take you through the you can say uh, scope. So guys, the modules are same in CHV10 also there were 20 modules in CHV11 also the modules are same. That is 20 module. All right, but the content in this module are, have been changed drastically. All right, now in the content that has been changed is this. One. All right, in enumeration that is module number four. All right, you have previously it was just SNMP, SMTP, NetBIOS, NTP enumeration, but now they have included what they have included NS, NFS enumeration, they have included DNS cache snooping, and they have included DNSX zone work. All right, these are the technologies they have introduced. Apart from that, I was telling you about guys malware threats. Previously, there was no concept of APT. In malware threats and also there were no concept related to fileless malware. but this time they have introduced what they have introduced apt that is advanced persistent concept and also they have included fileless malware concepts all right then apart from that they have also included emote now guys this emote trojan analysis it's it's very famous now in the market if you will be going for the training of any any so you can say uh sim solutions all right like splunk or you can say Curada, or you'll be taking the training of csa that is certified stock analyst over there also nowadays this emote trojan analysis is very famous all right so we will be doing what we'll be doing the analysis of this trojan that is emote now in chv level all right then talking about iot hacking guys as i told you guys in iot hacking they have introduced what they have introduced iot device management they have introduced ot concept ot attacks all right apart from that hacking methodology and concepts all right and then in your cloud computing they have done major changes that is previously it was very normal information that was given for cloud computing but they have now introduced some advanced concepts also. that is they have included containers containers technology apart from that serverless computing is included come cloud hacking is included all right kubernetes vulnerabilities and solutions all right it is included and serverless application security solutions are included all right so these are the changes that are made in chv10 and v11 all right many of the people are are confused that what are the changes that has been made in chv11 as compared to chv10 so guys these are the changes that has been made in chv11 certification all right apart from that guys they have done what is this is your updates let me show you see these are the topics that were included that is iot and cloud computing right that is module number 18 and 90 all right okay. so these modules are already there but along with the modules they have added some new technologies all right that is this mm -hmm. one let me just show you all right see this is what they have included all right so if we talk about cloud computing over here so this, this is the thing that is included all right so cloud computing security considerations all right these are the things that have included Docker, Kubernetes, serverless computing, all right, container technologies are included, all right, AI is included, all right, apart from that, they have, uh, you can say, they have also included demonstrations, all right, of the tools that we use for Kubernetes and server serverless applications, all right, so this is what they have included, guys, in these modules, it is just an add-on, nothing is removed, but add-on. Ah, one thing to be remembered guys in your first module all right in your first module what they have done is in first module they have made certain kind of changes all right let me just show you in first module that is your introduction to ethical hack they have done what they have done certain changes let me just go ahead all right this one so previously in this they have done what they have given you various kind of attacks 
all right, various kind of attacks terminology, and uh, they have given you the phases of hacking, type of hackers, difference between hacking and ethical hacking, what are the laws governing cybersecurity, differentiation between security audits, vulnerability assessment, and you can say, uh, you can say penetration testing, but this time they have done work, guys. They have introduced a lot of things. That is, first thing is, they have given you directly information security. That is, what is security? What are the pillars of security? That is CIA tried. Apart from that, authentication and non-repudiation. They have introduced a term that is cyber kill chain. Previously, this was not included, all right, in your syllabus. So this time they have included cyber kill chain. What is it? Various phases of cyber kill chain. Apart from that, they have, you can see, included hotting concept. All right. And they have done what they have uh, given the information about defense in depth. All right. See, these are the things that are again added. That is information assurance. What is it? Defense in depth, risk management, cyber threat intelligence. Previously, this was also missing. That is cyber threat intelligence, threat modeling, and incident management. All right. That is, uh, you can say, machine learning, and uh, you can see AI. These are the things with their permission. They say. So this time they have done what they have introduced this particular concept. So right from the basic that is module first, you will be seeing a lot of changes, changes in your CEH certification. All right, that is what is is changed in this particular syllabus. This is what they have removed and they have added new things that is in module number one. All right. Now talking about the examination guys. All right. So the examination will be same. All right. So let me just quickly go ahead and uh, just show you the examination. What will be the examination type is? So your examination will be same, guys. You will be getting one one twenty five questions. All right, an exam. And out of those one twenty five questions, you will be getting to solve. You'll be getting four hours. The pattern will be same. That is multi-choice questions you'll be getting. That will be scenario based. All right, and the you can say the passing. Uh, you can say result will be there as soon as you'll be completing the exam. The passing percentage is again, guys. That is seventy percent. Previously also it was seventy percent. Now many of the students they say that uh, so we got seventy nine percent, eighty percent, but still the the result is fake. It's there because guys in of in CH certification you have to do work. You don't have to get 70% only, but you have to do work. You have to secure and you have to pass in various domains. Your exam, that is one to five questions, they have been given to you from various domains. So you have to do work, you have to pass in individual domain also. All right. This is what you have to keep in your mind. So this time also you have to secure 70 percent, but make sure that you are passing in all the domains. All right. Apart from that, guys, as you all know, the test, so you can say the exam, uh, you can say given giving pattern will be same. Either you will be registering yourself in ECC exam portal or you will be manually going to Pearson view PUE centers. All right. Nowadays, because of this pandemic COVID-19, Pearson view centers are closed. So right now all the exams are being uh, done are happening online. So you will be doing what you'll be taking the approach that is ECC exam board. All right. Apart from that, guys, you will be getting the vouchers now. Second question is how you will be getting the vouchers, how you're going to enroll yourself. So to enroll yourself, guys, you can just open our organization website. All right. That is Infosec train. All right. And over there, you'll be getting the complete information about CH we live in. And if you want to register yourself, all right, you can just simply, uh, you can say, uh, contact the required person. All right, see, you can contact the required person and you will be, uh, you can say, uh, enrolled. Now, the latest batch that is going to start is from October, guys. So if you want, you can just quickly go and you can register yourself with the new version. Now, talking about the previous version, any one of you who has taken the previous version that is CHV10. So guys, that particular course that the CHV10 will be there for six months from now. All right. The official re release of this particular CHV10 certification was on 17th, all right, September. So from 17th September, just calculate six months. And for six months, your CHV10 certification will be there. 
All right, that will be included in the retirement period. After that, CHV10 will be obsoleted and there will be only CHV11, right? So if this is what the information is about your updates. Also, guys, if you if you are al already have taken the CHV10 certification, let's suppose some of you have taken CHV10 certification last month. So in that case, guys, you don't have to worry. All right, because that certification itself will be valid for three years. All right, it's not like that CHV11 is the in the market, so your previous certification will be uh, will be uh, you can say over. No, you can use that certification for complete three years. All right. So this is what guys this is what is given in your chv10 you can say a uh, new version all right as compared to chv10 now guys for your information you can do one thing you can even visit the websites over here all right this is your bookshelf all right this is the platform that you will be using to download the certificate uh, sorry to download you can see to view the modules all right like this i'm showing you this is my bookshelf which I'm showing you this one, guys. Actually, see, uh, what happening right now is, guys, I'm the certified instructor, right? So to the instructor, EC Council has done what they have already provided the, you can say the access to the presentation materials, all right? But for you, what will happen, guys, is you will be enrolling yourself for the CHV11 certification, all right, for, from InfoSec train. Then InfoSec train will be providing you the vouchers all right voucher code that voucher code you will be using in your spin account and then you will be getting somewhat like this that is download the material and something like this when we'll clicking over there then you will be directed to this website that is books over here you have to create your credentials all right and once you'll be registering yourself with your credentials then you'll be able to access the you can see more views all right so right now if you'll be opening this particular platform you'll not be able to get anything because you are not you are not having uh, you can see the voucher code right the voucher code is important all right the concept of voucher code will be there but previously you have to download pdc viewer and license key this time that particular thing has been removed now they have what they have this that is bookshelf clear so these are the links guys that is we have bookshelf then if you have any further question related to you can say certification ca certification yes. from the okay. council so you will be doing what guys this is the platform so if you will be doing what if you have any question guys for ec council you can just go to the website that is faq all right frequently asked questions dot html all right also i was telling you about this parrot line guys all right so to download this parrot linux directly onto your system in vmware i have given you the link all right so this is how your parrot operating system looks like all right it's something like this just show it to you all right this is the platform guys so from here you can download the parrot operating system directly now guys again the same situation is there if you want to opt for ec council ilabs it's your choice if you don't want to download, you can say purchase the iLabs at that time. There is also an option that is provided by InfoSec Train. That is, you can go through the labs. This is the lab which I provide to my student. All right, for CH V9, V10. Now, for V11 also, we'll be using these labs. So this is a manual lab that we'll be providing you. And this, you can you can add it this lab according to your choice. If you want to add any machine, you can add. If you want to delete any machine, you can delete. All right apart from that guys what will happen is uh the difference is your ilabs they will be having the access of only six months and over there the lab the tools are fixed you cannot make any changes but over here guys this lab it will be there in your computer till the time your computer is working fine as soon as your computer is down or you can say not working fine then this lab will not be working right so you will be purchasing new computer at that time you can configure this lab again and this over here you can make any changes you want all right so this is the difference so you can download this vmware you can install the lab inside the machine all right and then you can go for you can say practice even if you will be enrolling for the course all right with ec uh, for chv11 with infosec train at that time also i will be doing what i will be providing you this labs along with these machines so that we will be performing the practice.
all right so this is what we have to discuss about the chv 11 guys for further information you can just directly contact me guys it means this you will be visiting the website that is infosecfin.com getting the complete information over here related to all the certification that you want whether it be ec council whether it be compia whether it be asaka whether it be ic right so all the information will be given in here all right so this is what we have to discuss guys so i hope it's clear to everyone so thank you so much for joining the session guys